Okay, this is a video that's going to fix the clutch weep on a 2009 Buell 1125 CR. As you can see, we've been leaking a little bit. We lost uh, some of the paint on there. So that dot four hydraulic fluid that they use is really, really corrosive. I'm gonna try to make an accurate video on this. The one that's on line, I appreciate that video, but it's terrible. So we're gonna make a good one here. All right, let's get started. All right, so once you pop that off of there, what you need is a wrench that's gonna be similar to that. It's kind of set back. So you need a 17 millimeter, and then you also need a five millimeter Allen wrench. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this bolt off of here, but you need the Allen wrench to be inside. Next thing that you want to do is you want to undo your hydraulic line for your clutch. This is a 14 millimeter. Put a rag down because this dot four is kind of nasty. Next thing we want to do is remove this cover. It's a T30 Torx bit. So now at this point, we got a little bit of an issue. When you pull these bolts out, there is also part of the engine casing back here. If you pull that whole piece off, if you grab a hold and pull out here, what's going to happen is all a bunch of oil is going to come out. As you can see, here is your engine casing. Here's your cover. I just don't want to separate that whole thing and make a big oily mess. So what I want to try and do is separate this piece from this piece. I'm going to try and use this here. See if I can pry this out. All right, so I'm going to try something here. I put the banjo bolt back in here, and there's a small little tang right here that actually holds your hydraulic clutch line. I'm going to try to pry that apart just with a small screwdriver, but I'm also going to put it, a rag over it, see if I can get it to separate. And there we go. No problem. All I'm trying to do here is just make sure the gasket's staying good. I don't want to, I don't have another one. There we go. So that's what you're gonna end up with right there. Here is the clutch. It's obvious that this is leaking inside of here. Those seals are bad. So let's go ahead, let's pull this off. Show you how to do that here on the workbench. If you have the case off, what you wanna do is you wanna put down a rag, because you just don't wanna scratch that up at all. Now what we gotta do is we gotta pull this snap ring off. Let's go ahead and get that done. It's pulling the snap ring out that was not as easy as it looked believe me but we got it out so that's all that counts what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to push this slave cylinder right out you'll feel it move i'm going to put a socket on here and just push it out so all i did was use a 24 millimeter socket she popped right out there's our old slave cylinder. Be willing to bet somewhere along there one of the seals went bad. So at this point here, as you can see, I'll turn that all the way around. What we want to do is we want to clean this up. Now this was done nine years ago. Thought did a good job, but it just wore out. Got a lot of miles out of it. So like I said, we're just putting a new one in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that all up now. So once you got that cleaned up, what you want to do is you want to line where it says center line up with 
your inlet where the banjo bolt goes. Now, if you take a look at that little cutout right there, that actually will sit inside of that little notch right there. Now, it's about 80% in, it slides in, but as you can see, it's not set all the way in. This is the hard part right here. We've got to get that just about flush with that so we can actually put the lock ring back in. So this one's a little tricky. What I got here is a one inch socket that'll go right over that hex. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my dead blow and I'm gonna set it. Just gonna hit it a couple times, check it, hit it a couple times and check it, see how she's sitting. Getting there. That looks pretty good, should be good. Let's see if we can get our lock ring back in there. Well, that went in really easy. All right, let's see if we can put it back together. All right, so once we got the case back on here, somewhat a little bit snug, what we're going to do is I'm going to set it to 75 inch pounds right now, and I'm just going to torque in a star pattern. So boom, 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 just back and forth just to make sure I get it done. Once that's down, the final spec is 89 inch pounds. At this point, you can hook back up your hydraulic line, making sure that your copper washers are on right. One goes on top, one goes underneath. Next thing you want to do is put the nut back on. There's a little O-ring on the back side. Make sure that that seats into there. And take your Allen wrench. Tighten that up. Take your 17 millimeter. Tighten that nut up. Don't know if there's torque specs on that, but I'm going to use two Ooga Dugas. All right, let's bleed the clutch now. So the next thing we want to do is pull the cap off the reservoir for the clutch. You anyway, just want to take your, your little rubber diaphragm here and just push it back together. Now we're using dot four, which is what you want to have inside of that reservoir. Be careful when you use this, it's corrosive. It will be bad to your paint. Be sure to have a rag handy. Fill your reservoir up. At that point, what we want to start doing is we want to start pumping it down a little bit start getting some of that fluid down there. And then we're gonna bleed the clutch. As you're pumping the clutch, take your time. It'll start to kind of create a geyser out of there. So just kind of pump it. You'll see bubbles popping out. So you can see the bubbles are starting to go. What we're trying to do is pump fluid down to the clutch. This process can take a while. So I'm just going to continue to do this. I'll give you the final product and how long it takes. got that air out of it you can go ahead and you can put your lid back on okay what we did here is we pulled the bike down off the lift I just want to check and make sure that the clutch is working after priming it for a while we finally got the bleed out bleeding it's pretty simple you saw me do it 
So go ahead to check to make sure the clutch is working. Put it into gear. Make sure that you're in gear. Pull the clutch in. Make sure she rolls. There you go. So we got it. Now we'll check it. Weep on an 1125CR. This particular model is a 2009 Buell. Pretty simple to do. Without filming, it probably would have taken me about 45 minutes. So, if this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Helps me do some fun things with the channel. Thanks a bunch. Have a good night. Be good.